So, um, mehetünk tovább. So, the evaluation of patient's knowledge, desire, and the psychosocial background in the decision-making of post-mastectomy breast reconstruction in Hungary. It was a prospective questionnaire study of 500 cases. Um, what is the introduction? So, we know the patients requiring mastectomy should be informed about available options regarding breast reconstruction. There are clear differences in the quality standards of oncoplastic care throughout Europe with slight improvement in Central European countries like Hungary. Our aim was to evaluate the patient's knowledge and the demand for postmastectomy breast reconstruction as well as their psychosocial background regarding decision making for breast reconstruction. We know that the average mastectomy rate is around 40-45% to plan the capacity uh, and to, uh, to plan the capacity of breast reconstruction in the new breast cancer surgical care system in uh, Hungary, it's very important to know what the patients are desire. This was a 15 structured questions, anonymous questionnaire, and we handed uh, this questionnaire out on the day before performing mastectomy without giving them any information. And uh, it was uh, between 2010 and 2011. Uh, our limitations were the low number of very young uh, patients, so under uh, 35 years. And we were only uh, assessed patients' uh, perspectives regarding decision to undergo best reconstruction. So here are the patient's characteristics, as you see. The mean age was uh, around 60 years. Um, they were mainly married. Uh, at the educational level were secondary school, intellectual uh, patients, and uh, mainly from the capital. Uh, as you can see, for the question, do you fear of breast cancer? They, most of them, so 92% uh, said yes and um, the extent was moderate to severe. And uh, they were very much afraid of uh, losing their breast, and uh, that's it, yeah. Um, is it your own judgment or the opinion of your environment that you most fear? And 41% said they were a fear of the self-esteem. And the other was the workplace that they were fearing of. Um, provided your cancer treatment makes it possible, would you op uh, option for breast reconstruction? And 45% uh, said yes. And uh, it, it was interesting that 21% said maybe. And uh, for the question, how much do you know about breast reconstruction? At that time, they were know very little or almost nothing. The information came from the surgeons or uh, from the internet. And uh, for the question, would you undertake more than one surgical procedure for a decade breast reconstruction? They said no, 60% of the patients. Do you think that the breast reconstruction would influence your family or sexual life? It, it was an interesting uh, question and the answer was more interesting. 60% of them said no. What does uh, complete recovery mean to you? They said both. So the psy psychological and emotional recovery uh, meant the whole recovery for them. And is having breast again part of your recovery? Uh, 31, only 31% said yes. Uh, here are some signification correlation. What we found, there is a significant correlation was clearly detectable between the age and the marital status. Uh, the age and the desire for breast reconstruction showed a strong relationship. Almost every young patient uh, wanted to have a breast reconstruction, mainly immediate breast reconstruction. And uh, uh, after, uh, so older than 76 years of age, uh, almost no one wanted the operation. Women between 55 and 65 years were quite uncertain. 
The reconstruction needs and the timing of the chosen procedure showed significant correlation. Of those who desired breast reconstruction also wanted to have immediate breast reconstruction, while those with uncertain uncertainties would have delayed breast reconstruction. Breast reconstruction is an integral part of complete recovery of women under age of 50 but it's a, a role in neg uh, negligible in older ages and is of absolutely no concern over 65 years of age. Uh, mostly young patients would take um, uh, multiple surgical interventions for the desired outcome, and a lower portion of older women were committed to undergo multiple procedures. The significant correlation between breast reconstruction and sexual life seemed logical. The ways to obtain the information of breast reconstruction showed characteristic patterns in the different age groups. So patients under 35 gained information over the internet as, and as they got older, they got information from the older ages, even from fellow patients. Significant difference has shown between the reconstruction needs and the family situation. So both singles and married women definitely wanted breast reconstruction, while widows were less certain about it, and uh, divorcees did not know what they really wanted. This is a statistical correlation between uh, the facts. As you can see, it's a very a uh, complicated part, as you can see that uh, almost every fact has a significant a statistical correlation compared to each other. And uh, the assessment of post mastectomy reconstruction needs, so we um, made this questionnaire again after seven years, so between 2017 and 2018, and we were curious what was the situation or what, what the situ how the situation changed and as you can see here are the patients um, uh, factors so all the age was almost the same uh, the marital status was also the almost the same or uh, also from secondary school mainly intellectuals and uh, as you can see uh, almost everywhere from the from Hungary yes Actually, one remark, as you could see, uh, after six, five, six years, we've started oncoplastic care for the first uh, in Hungary. The, the 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 patients having higher education and knowledge that we are we can offer that education uh, changed it, uh, itself significantly. So it's much higher. So the younger patients are coming to our department, and uh, uh, and the, those uh, who have uh, uh, who has uh, higher education because they have knowledge that uh, that here this, uh, this this type of breast cancer breast cancer surgical care is accessible in Hungary. Sorry. Yes, sorry. We can go. So here you can see that the for the question, do you fear of breast cancer? They uh, uh, almost said the same. Yes, they fear uh, severe, to, uh, to moderate to severe. And uh, do you fear losing your breast? They said mainly yes. And uh, they were, uh, so the, uh, they, the extent was not the same as it was previously, but almost the same. Uh, they still afraid of their self-esteem and uh, their workplace. And uh, they provided your cancer treatment makes it possible. Would you uh, go for breast reconstruction? And 64% uh, said yes, compared to previously said 45%. When would you want to have breast reconstruction? 41% uh, said immediately. And... Uh, um, the rest said six months later. We can, Mahatung, Mahatung. How much do you know about breast reconstruction? Uh, they were um, more informed by the surgeon and the internet as they were previously, and uh, they were more to go for multiple procedures than only one procedure for the desired uh, outcome. 
Uh, do you think that breast reconstruction would influence your family or, family or sexual life? Uh, they said 45% no, still very high. What does complete recovery mean to you? It was uh, also the same, both uh, psychological and emotional uh, recovery. Is having breast again part of your recovery? And 49% said yes. And on, only 12% said no, no previously to 31 and 24%. I had to. And we uh, developed another questionnaire, uh, survey on breast reconstruction in this in institute. And uh, the mean age was uh, uh, 47 years. And they were also highly educated, uh, mainly married uh, patients. Mahatung, Mahatung. To what extent do you mean losing your breast about its aesthetic deformity in a scale? And you can see uh, out of 10, it was 7.8. When would you like to have breast reconstruction? And they wanted to have Mahatung. Uh, almost at the same time uh, or months or years after tumor removal and uh, they want they have very high expectations so they wanted to have a nice decolletage or they wanted to look nicer even nicer than before the surgery what <clears throat> again to what extent can symmetry be accepted to you at the end of the breast reconstruction? Mehet. Be my reconstructed breast about the same naked. So they, as I said already, they had a very high expectations. And how many surgeries would you undertake in anesthesia to reconstruct your breasts? And they were like up to two. And in your opinion, how many reconstruction procedures are legitimate for the national insurance financed by the state if it's known that the possibilities are not endless and three or four or at most? So it is also very high their expectation in for the for the national insurance companies. That. In your opinion, if the reconstructed breast will change over time, for example, with aging, then it is a natural process, which is an individual aesthetic surgical issue in the future. And would you agree that your breast reconstruction might be done by a general surgeon rather than a plastic surgeon? They don't want it. So they mainly want a special, uh, specialized uh, surgeon, breast surgeon, with a plastic surgeon if needed. How acceptable do you think it is that in the 21st century only one or two hospitals has specially, specially prepared modern breast surgery? It is unacceptable. They must provide advanced specialized breast surgeries and breast surgical centers. Do you think your healing is significantly affected if the operation is done by the breast surgeon specialist? And it is significantly affects the healing, one of the most important uh, facts. So they do think that we are play a very important part in their healing procedures. Thank you for your attention.